Hello, my name is Alice Nottingham and I'm an IBMer. I was the development lead for the OSJ Applications Feature Pack and I'm also an Apache Ares committer. Today I'm going to talk to you about Blueprint. So Blueprint is a POJO based um, programming model. It was based very heavily on, on the influence of the Spring framework. In fact, Spring Source took the Spring Dynamic Modules project to the OSJ Alliance to standardize it. So as is similar with Spring, you define your Java beans and you give them fields and they're just classes and you have methods for setting the fields and you have methods which are your business logic. And then it's down to the blueprint runtime in order to drive the um, setters. What this means is that when you're in a, when you're in a JUnit type environment, it's much simpler for you to test it. You don't need to have Blueprint. You don't need to have any of these things. You can just new up your instances. The way you configure it is with a Blueprint XML file, which is similar to that shown on the screen at the moment. Uh, you'll find it's very familiar. You've got a bean which has IDs. You can define a class and you define the properties in a fairly normal way. And what you can do is you can define beans to be injected into each other. One of the things that is uh, perhaps a little bit different from Spring is you don't have a single application context. Each OSGI bundle in the framework can have one or more blueprint files which goes to, uh, and construct the environment and to collaborate. The way they collaborate, as with all things in OSGI, is through the OSGI services mechanism. Services are one of the more interesting aspects of OSGI, but perhaps are, are slightly less commonly used. You, you, a service is basically an object and you can publish them to a thing called the service registry using classes and interfaces. You can also have properties associated with them. It's essentially a centralized hash map where you can go to query implementations of interfaces and these, these services can come and go at any time. In this example, you can see a runnable registered with the properties A and C. Over time, more services can be registered without affecting any of my clients, such as this executor service. Even another runnable can be registered, such as this one with the property X. Then, if I wish, I can remove my original runnable and the client can switch to use another one, such as the one with the property X. Service clients can use properties to choose when multiple services of the same type have been registered and only one is needed. The problem with services is that actually using services via the OSGI API can be quite difficult. In this example, there's quite a lot of code just to get hold of and track the log service. And we're not even talking here about the code that you would need to write in order to perform the business logic. The point is that there's quite a lot of boilerplate here and Blueprint can really help you. Instead of doing all of this, if you want to make use of references in Blueprint, you simply need to do this. Instead of defining yourself a bean, which is a log service, what you do is you define a reference, you use the same ID, and you just add the interface you want to look it up from the service registry. The Java code that you've written doesn't change, and what ha but what happens is when Blueprint sees this, it waits for the log service to become available in the service registry. At that time, it will attempt to instantiate the bean and inject the log service. It's also similarly easy to expose something inside the service registry. So in this case, I've taken the bean, I've made it implement an order processor, and then I've just put a little bit of XML which says put the shop bean into the service registry using the interface order processor. And that's, that is all there is to it. Now, what Blueprint will do is it'll manage all the dynamism for you. So when the reference um, is not available, the service won't be registered. Once the re reference becomes available, the log service is available. It will re instantiate the bean and register it in the service registry. That's basically the quick introduction to Blueprint.